Hello YouTube, Hoosier Archer here, and this is a late edition of the Sunday Stump, my Sunday Stump. I'm very sorry, uh, I'll come clean about why I got it up so late. Uh, when I woke up this mo morning, uh, well, uh, this past week on Amazon Prime, they added to included with Amazon Prime a television show that back when it was on I could only catch a few episodes of it. Uh, I think I might have let slip in an earlier video or two that I'm a science fiction fan and I have been one my entire life. I actually read uh, pardon me this is going to sound like bragging but it's a simple statement of fact I started reading at the age of two, so that by the time I was in kindergarten, I already read at a fifth grade level. By the time I was in fourth grade, I read at a college level. And by the time I was in college, I read at a PhD level, probably before I even went to college. Um, Anyway, I read my first Jules Verne book at around the age of seven, and I've been hooked on science fiction and fantasy ever since. I read The Hobbit for the first time when I was ten, uh, and I tried to talk with my friends about it, and I was the only bibliophile, and look that up, it just means lover of books, in my circle of friends. Uh, there were people, I had detractors in school and they often said that Curtis is a know-it-all and my friends would say, yeah, because he does. Does what? Know-it-all. Well, no, I didn't know it all, but I knew a lot because I read a lot. I didn't just read fiction. Um, when, I, when they, my parents saw how early I read and how early I did addition and subtraction, my parents bought me a set of science encyclopedias. Now these were for high school students and I read them in elementary school. I never had to crack the biology textbook in high school because I already knew everything they were teaching. Okay, simple statements of fact about me. To put it humorously but truly, I am smarter than I look. And I guess you could say that really wouldn't take much. But anyway, they added this science fiction show that I was only able to catch a few episodes of when it was on back in the early to mid-90s. The show's called Babylon 5. And it, was, it is actually one of the best science fiction programs that's ever been on television. Uh, and it's, uh, it predicted, sort of predicted, uh, political correctness gone mad and uh, social justice warrior, warriors in power. But that's neither here nor there in this... But anyway, I've been binge watching it, and so I couldn't get my Sunday stump up uh, before work due to the fact that I didn't want to interrupt my binge, and I and I apologize for that. Um, here's uh, something that I want to. Here's a, a sneak peek of a giveaway that I'm going to do this week. You're going to see the prize. After trading for the Ron Hood hoodlum, I decided I have way too many big honkin' knives. So I'm going to give away one of my big honkin' knives. And this is it. This is a Kukri. Uh, this is a Blackjack Knives Marauder MK1A. 
this is not a sharpened edge. This is a false edge, but it would not take much if you wanted to, to put an edge on this. And uh, this is pretty much a tactical kukri. Um, it does have bushcraft capabilities, but this would be a good uh, inclusion to a bug out kit for um, an edged weapon. It, ha it gives reach. It's an excellent slasher. It's, an, it's, it's a, uh, a stabber. I, I would hunt pigs with this if I didn't have any other thing to hunt pigs with. This, this would put a herd on a swine. And I'm talking feral pigs. Stuff that can eat you back. Okay? Um, it's... Uh, decently sharp, but I'll smooth it up before I send it. I don't, I don't believe in dulling a knife before I send it. I just give you an advisory, but this is what the prize is going to be. And what's this giveaway about? This is just a saying thank you to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. Subscription, uh, subscriber thank you giveaway. I was just floored by how quickly I went from 109 to 213 currently I think it is uh, just keeps growing now and I'm just so grateful that I want to offer this as a as a, a thank you gift to you know it, it'll, it's one prize there'll be one winner uh, and I'm not going to talk about the rules of the giveaway uh, right now but just let you have a sneak peek at the prize there might even be some surprises in the you know I like to do that Excuse me. Words are dusty. Whoa, that lid doesn't go on that cup very well. Well, there's one first thing I've ever found to complain about Sonic that the lids don't go on all that well on their cups. Uh, by the way, speaking of Sonic, um, they have something for uh, when you want a little something sweet uh, but you can't be too bad with your sweets like me uh, they have what they call the mini size milkshake and it is just the perfect size uh, I can drink one of those and after two hours, my blood sugar will be in the normal uh, range. I, it, it doesn't cause a spike because it's not enough uh, to really hurt me. So if you're looking for something a little sweet, and I can highly recommend the, the coconut cream pie milkshake. Uh, that's, uh, that'll make the eyes, your eyes go back in your head for a second. It's so good. Um, the peanut butter Oreo cookie is uh, that's I said I took a sip of one of those and went that's dessert it uh, you um, you won't crave anything sweet for about two days after you have one of those and if it's uh, the holiday time they have a pumpkin pie milkshake that honest to goodness tastes like pumpkin pie it, uh, it's uh, amazing um, but those I'm I'm I don't hit the milkshake scene very often. I am a type two diabetic and I do try to manage my glucose very strictly, but I was uh an Epicurean of gargantuan proportions. <laughs> so um and one day I might even give you a little spiel about the psychological reasons of why I got so heavily into food after getting out of the Marine Corps, but um, that's not for here and now. Um, uh, oh, by the way, if you're ever at a camp out and Tack is there, um, and if she didn't bring any of her kimchi, 
tell her the next time you camp with her, she better have some, because she makes some fantastic kimchi. You do, Tack. You really, really do. Uh, she makes it kind of chunky, but it's, uh, but that's fine, and that's fine. But I'll tell you one thing that I did with it. I took a little bit of it out and put it on a cutting board, and I finely shredded it, made it a little bit the consistency of coleslaw, and I put it on a hot dog. Oh, religious experience. Yep. Uh, praising the, cre the great maker. Uh, oh, it was a very good hot dog, too. Uh, a Kogel Vienna from Michigan. Natural casing. Huh. Bug. X-Bug. Late and not lamented bug. Um, let me think. Uh, huh. I, for some reason, YouTube opened up on this. I don't know why. It was the re, uh, the hot sardines, the petite fleur, the little flower. Um, for those of you that don't parlez vous français. <laughs> oh, since this is just a stump and I can talk about anything, I did get a private message a little while ago. Somebody said, what happened to your teeth? Um, 65, miles an hour, 65 mile an hour head-on collision. Face impacted the dashboard. Uh, front teeth stuck into the dashboard. Front teeth stayed in the dashboard. Uh, don't currently have dental coverage and can't get it replaced right yet. So, now you know. Uh, by the way, uh, I believe if you look it up, you'll see that 65 miles an hour, 65 mile an hour head-on collisions are 100% fatal. Do I look undead to you? Don't answer that. Uh, I can go out in the sunlight and I don't have a craving for brains. Brains! No, I don't have a craving for brains. Brains! Sorry. It can get a little silly sometimes when it's late at night. And the zombie bites. Okay. Uh, there were some questions I was going to ask. To see if you. Oh, yes. Uh, where do y'all get your stickers made? I want to make stickers for my channel so I can give them to my subscribers. Uh, I think I put that in another video. Maybe I put it. Maybe I edited that out of another video. But I want to make. I'm going to have to come up with a logo of some kind. The little YouTube thing there in the down by the corner, and maybe an arrow stuck in a stump, and with and with the, an outline of the state of Indiana behind it. Maybe. I'm actually think about thinking about changing the name of my channel. Because while I'm still an archer, and while I'm originally from Indiana, I now live in Kentucky, and I don't see myself leaving Kentucky anytime soon. I mean, I'm, except for a visit someplace. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking about changing the name of my channel uh, as I move the emphasis of my videos to being outside, changing it to Kurt in the Dirt. So, what do you think of that name for my channel? Or maybe I'll just make a second channel and make it Kurt in the Dirt. Um, and then I'll just put link to that channel in the description box of videos that I do in this channel. But anyway, what do you think of Kurt in the Dirt? as a 
channel name and that'll be all the videos that I do you know out there uh, doing survival camping uh, or minimalist camping whatever way you want to look at it uh, I definitely have an idea for a fall where I'm going to do a sort of um, survivor man type video um, where I'm going to go as uh, somebody who goes to a large national forest to bow hunt and gets logistically misplaced. I'm not going to actually be logistically misplaced, but I'm going, and I'm, can you survive with just what you have in your pockets and in the pack that you might carry? especially if you're going to be somebody that's hiking and camping overnight and then hunting and then you know making a sort of a circuit go out turn around come back go back to your truck hunting you know when you get when you wake up start your hunting your, your spotting and stalking or whatever find you find trail and you sit on a trail and wait to see what comes past or whatever but I, that's one of the things I'm thinking about doing this fall. Uh, the uh, I didn't uh, get my all. Uh, the only thing I got shown of the new schedule was the next day on the new schedule that I have to work. Um, if I have. Uh, on the uh, if I have the time between now and Friday I will do a um, foil pack Friday um, and a fired up Friday combination um, I think I'll, there'll be a day I'll have the time to do it but I might not be able to post the video this Friday because it might actually be next Sunday that I have off um, so I'll have to post it, and editing and such. Um, let me think, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Oh, uh, I saw an old girlfriend the other day, and we're still on friendly terms, and, uh, I said, we went and got a little something to eat, and uh, as we drove away, I looked in the bag and I said, well, there's no ketchup. Don't you, you don't you, you take ketchup on your french fries, don't you? And she says, no, I can go either way. And I said, yeah. I seem to remember how flexible you are. She had to stop the car. She was laughing so hard. I can have a wicked sense of humor sometimes. So, there you go. Little, little mildly humorous story. Um... Anybody else have thunderstorms today? The weirdest thing was we had thunder and lightning at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, but just piddly little rain. And then later on, after dark, we had sheets of rain, but no thunder and lightning. So, go figure. Um, although, the east side of town apparently was raining buckets the, the streets were flooding uh, give me just a second I need to see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow uh, apparently right now we're still in the middle of a storm okay doesn't look like it's going to oh early in the morning it looks like we might get another uh possibility of a thunderstorm but then in the afternoon 
it's going to change to intermittent clouds. So, and it's not going to be, doesn't look like it's going to be uh, uh, hellishly hot. So, yeehaw, I have, uh, amazingly, I have Monday off, and, uh, and I have a lot of errands to run, so I'm glad I don't have to do it in the rain. Um, I just don't care to, you know, Ooh, I go walking in the rain, holding hand in hand with the one I love. Well, no, never been my way. Uh, not that I, I, I mean, I can take it. I just don't like it. If you don't have to get soaking wet, why get soaking wet? Uh, never cared to be soggy. Soggy is for cereal. <laughs> Not my boots. Oh, every, oh, somebody wanted to know what this was. This is a side quiver. Whoops. I have amazing reflexes sometimes. But uh, I'll show you. Um, gold tip 3555s. And these are original Wenzel Woodsman. This is before Three Rivers Archery bought them. And as you can see, I think, still in remarkably good shape. And this particular one has killed three pigs. One of them, uh, over 400 pounds. Two of them in self-defense. This quiver is made by a friend of mine. This was a prototype. And I was the original field tester. And uh, I rather like it. Well, I was trying to remember a joke to end on, but how? Okay, here's an oldie but a goodie. How many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? Just one, but it has to want to change. God bless, happy trails, and watch your top knot.